How do you stay in a good place when you're in financial breakdown? Because if you go into a bad place, right? If you go into a freaked out, um, you know, scared, resentful, agitated place, well, your ability to get out of the breakdown um, is greatly thwarted. So it's imperative that you work on getting into an optimal, um, optimistic, joyous state when you are in financial peril. Now, that's not easy to do. What I recommend that you do is, first of all, you work to accept the situation exactly as it is. And so often, people are in a blame game. So they're saying, you know, well, if that didn't happen, if that didn't, then, 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 and they're never saying, well, listen, I'm the one who said yes. I'm the one who made those decisions. I signed my, line, uh, my name on the line there. I, I'm the one who went into this not thinking about, you know, what are the potential risks. I, uh, when I signed up for this, I knew there were going to be risks, right? You, so often, we're not, so we're not owning it and saying, wait, it was me. I did this. But I'll tell you right now, one of the ways to feel good in the middle of a breakdown is to own it and say, you know what, I did this. I made this happen. This financial disaster is me. You do that, you start to feel good again. You start to feel powerful. You realize you're the creator of your experience. Another trick to staying in good spirits while you are in the middle of financial breakdown is to make sure that you forecast out what is the worst possible thing that could happen to you in this particular breakdown and you make peace with it. If you will fantasize what is the worst possible thing and then you make peace with that, you will be at peace now in the process. And that's the goal.